Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this rather wet and windy Monday the 9th of August. I'm Jenny Walpole, the curate in the benefice here of St um, Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter. And today we are remembering Mary Sumner, who was the founder of the Mother's Union. And here's a bit about her. Mary Elizabeth Sumner, nee Haywood, was born in 1828 at Swindon. In 1848, she married a young curate, George Henry, Henry Sumner, nephew of Archbishop Sumner, and who himself became Bishop of Guildford in 1888. A mother of three children, Mary called a meeting in 1876 at which she founded the Mother's Union which provided a forum in which to unite mothers of all classes in the aim of bringing up children in the Christian faith. Baptism and parental example were its two basic principles. At first a parochial organisation, it grew steadily into an international concern, encouraging the ideal of a Christian home. Mary died on this day in 1921. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us. In your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm for today is number 71. O God, be not far from me. In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the evildoer and from the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence even from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from my birth, when you drew me from my mother's womb. My praise shall always be of you. I have become a poor tent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me away in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me and those who lie in wait for my life to take counsel together. They say God has forsaken him, pursue him and take him, because there is none to deliver him. O oh God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O oh my God. Let those who are against me be put to shame and disgrace. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But as for me, I will hope continually. I will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and salvation all the day long, for I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. Forsake me not, O oh God, when I am old and grey-headed, till I make known your deeds from the next generation and your power to all that are to come. 
Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens in the great things you have done. Who is like you, O God? What troubles and adversities you have shown me, and you will turn and refresh me, and bring me from the deep of the earth again. Increase my honour, turn again and comfort me. Therefore I will pray, praise you upon the harp for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing out as I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all the day long. For they shall be ashamed and disgraced who sought to do me evil. Be not far from me, O my God. Faithful Lord, living Saviour, in youth and old age, from the womb to the grave, May we know your protection and proclaim your great salvation to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The first reading is from the book of Prophets, Proverbs, chapter 1, beginning at the first verse. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. For learning about wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for gaining instruction in wise dealing, righteousness, justice and equity, to teach shrewdness to the simple, knowledge and prudence to the young, let the wise also hear and gain in learning, and the discerning acquire skill, to understand a proverb and a figure, the words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Hear, my child, your father's instructions and do not reject your mother's teaching, for they are a fair garland for your head and pendants for your neck. My child, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, come with us, let us lie in wait for blood. Let us wantonly ambush the innocent. Let sure let us swallow them alive and whole like those who go down to the pit. We shall find all kinds of costly things. We shall fill our houses with booty. Throw in your lot among us. We will all have one purse. My child, do not walk in their way. Keep your foot from their paths, for their feet run to evil, and they hurry to shed blood, for in vain is the net baited, while the bird is looking on, yet they lie in wait to kill themselves, and set an ambush for their own lives. Such is the end of all who are greedy for gain. It takes away the life of its possessors. A Song of Deliverance all the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Behold, God is my Saviour, I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, who has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Our Gospel reading is taken from Mark chapter 2, beginning at verse 23. One Sabbath he was going through the cornfields, and as they made their way, his disciples began to pluck heads of grain. The Pharisees said to him, Look! Why are they doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? And he said to them, Have you never read what David did when his, he and his companions were hungry and in need of food? 
he entered the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and ate the bread of the presence, which is, is not lawful for any but the priest to eat. But he gave some to his companions. Then he said to them, the Sabbath was made for humankind and not humankind for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord even over the Sabbath. Again he entered the synagogue and a man was there who had a withered hand. They watched him to see whether he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. And he said to the man who had the withered hand, come forward. Then he said to them, is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath, to save a life or to kill? But they were silent. He looked around them with anger. He was grieved at their hardness of heart. And he said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately conspired with the Herodians against him. How to destroy him. Our responsory. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. The Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Holy and loving God, we give thanks for this day and for this week that lies ahead. Help us to know the many blessings which you shower upon us and be with us when we know any pain or distress. We offer up to you this day the tasks ahead, the places we will go and the people we will see. Help us to be ever mindful of those who cross our path and to bring your light into every situation that we encounter. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world and its needs. In particular, we pray for Greece amidst the fires. 
We pray for Afghanistan amidst the war and violence and political unrest. We pray for places in the world where the coronavirus pandemic is still ravaging the lives of many. We pray for countries where there is a lack of good medical care. We pray for people who are suffering with the virus, those who have died and those who are grieving. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Archbishop Justin, for Bishop Rose, for all those who lead the church with servant hearts. And we pray for our rector Jo, as she continues her time of rest and holiday. Help us all, Lord, to be your hands and to be your feet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And this day we pray especially for those who work in media and the arts, remembering those who work and who visit the Marlowe Theatre in this city. We pray for those who work in fishing and farming, commerce and industry. And we pray for those whose work is unfulfilling, stressful, or fraught with danger. We pray too for all who are unemployed. And now we call to mind those who are on our hearts, especially those who are sick and in need of comfort. In the silence of our hearts, we offer up any other prayers to you, Lord. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. We pray for those who will die this day, those who will be born, those who are rejoicing at life and those who are grieving. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect for today. Faithful and loving God, who called Mary Sumner to strive for the renewal of family life, Give us the gift of your Holy Spirit, that through word, prayer and deed, your family may be strengthened and your people served. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us and keep us from evil and keep us in eternal life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer. I'll be with you again at 6pm for night prayer and I wish you all a very good day ahead. Goodbye. <laughs>